What is up guys, Boomers here today, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to play Dallas. So in this video, I'm going to be covering tips and tricks on how to play them, uh, what guns I buy, how to use them, things like that. Maybe this will encourage you to want to play him, because he's a very good character, let me tell you that. For tip number one, don't be afraid to hip fire, this guy's got crazy good hip fire, like insanely good hip fire. Uh, this is really good for when you're holding corners or things like that. If you get them down to one shot doing a quick little like no scope peek, easy. Look at that. Like it's so consistent with no scopes. Super consistent with no scopes. Like what is that? Excuse me? <laughs> so yeah, don't be afraid to hit fire. Broken. Alright, for this secret tip I had to hop in custom because I don't have a clip of it. But uh, basically, if you're in smoke or the smoke is in between you and enemy players, you're able to see them with your ability. Um, the reveal outlines everything, including people. This tip could be used offensively if your team has smokes and you want to see more people or if the defense throws it down and they're all hiding, kind of, you're able to see them. So, super useful tip. Uh, it's not used all the time, but when it does happen, it's good to know. Alright, so I just want to say thank you to Kelly and Kiara for helping me out in this video. Uh, they both stream Rogue and they're pretty good. You guys should go check them out on Twitch. Uh, these are their names and I'll drop their links down in the description. I'm going to show you guys how to improve your aim. The key to Dallas is having good aim. His guns deal damage, but only do work when you have good aim, basically. So, uh, everybody, if you just go into the shooting range, run around, shoot, do a couple stuff, that, that'll help you improve your aim. Uh, always practice, like, flicking onto heads and doing whatnot. Um, another thing for my PC guys and my mouse and keyboard strictly, uh, there's this app called Aim Labs on Steam. It's free. Uh, it's got a bunch of little courses you can do and just literally just strictly practices your aim. So here on this course I'm doing on Aim Labs, uh, it's called Grid Shot. It's just me uh, flicking to each every circle. My controller players, uh, <laughs> there's not much you can do but play the game. Uh, I suggest playing Strikeout maybe. Uh, that will help you get in as many gunfights as you can. and. When you're trying to get better at the game and trying to get better at aiming, don't be camping, holding corners, doing that stuff. You want to keep running around, shooting, get in as much gunfights as you can because you'll never get better if you're just sitting around, camping, doing stuff like that, you know? Alright, so for the next tip, I got a good tip for holding corners as well. Uh, this isn't necessarily just for Dallas, but um, this helps with Dallas because you normally kind of want to keep your space and keep your distance and try to stay away from the enemy. Uh, when you're behind a corner that's like kind of small, that's not a big box where your body's showing on the other half, uh, don't be afraid to switch angles when they keep peeking each side. So I'll show an example of this. So notice how every time he goes to peek a different side, I switch my angle so my character body not showing. This is super useful for, for Dallas. And since the DMR is such a heavy hitting gun, being able to hide like this and then do quick peeks, the, the enemy just won't know what hit him at all. All right, and for the last tip, which kinda could go for anybody, but it's something that I believe Dallas needs. Um, I kinda use a melee for every character, but Dallas is definitely one of the characters that you especially need a melee. Since his gun's fire rate is so low and he runs out of bullets quite quickly, um, he's only got 8 in his DMR when it's fully upgraded and 6 in it when it's not fully upgraded and his pistol's only got 6 bullets. So having a melee is might be one of the most useful things for him because when a team's pushing you and you don't have like all your ammo, you're shooting guys pushing you, you're running out of ammo, someone's really close, whipping out that melee, getting a quick instant kill, uh, and being able to finish him and then back up quickly, like super super useful. All right, now I'm gonna get into uh, what I buy and what guns to kind of use for your playstyle. So he's got two heavy hitting guns. Both his guns are deal quite a bit of damage. I would say if you don't have the greatest aim, use the AK just so you could spray. Um, if you have really good aim or above average aim, 
uh, use the DMR. The DMR is so good. It's my favorite DMR in the game. Uh, it's it's insane. You can two tap people, uh, which gets you out of so many situations. Uh, helps your team out. Um, he's kind of a player you kind of play from a distance. You're not really in there. You can be in there if you want, if that's like your kind of play style. Like I love uh, being aggressive and jumping into fights and things like that. So I'm kind of aggressive, but he's more of kind of a support because you dink someone with this DMR for 71 and your teammates right there with an SMG in the front lines, uh, which works pretty good. And he's got his ability to, to reveal, which helps your team push more. So, so I'm gonna go over the AK work. first. Uh, the AK has a lot of recoil, as you can tell. Like goes up very high but I hope you aren't spraying for that long and if you are spraying for that long literally all you gotta do is pull down a little bit like the recoil is kind of hard to control still like it's still pretty widespread but like if you're fighting someone from maybe the moment, like, just pulling down is okay um with the AK and the DMR you want to be going for headshots so it's 24 to the body 36 to the head if you just get one headshot in there that's fine like as long as you get a headshot you're winning a gunfight so it's a three shot to the head, which is not. So you just get a quick spray in. They're dead. <laughs> so I don't really use the AK that much, but I would suggest it for you controller players. Um, if your aim isn't the greatest and you're not so snappy on the heads. Uh, but if your aim is good on controller, because I know there's a lot of really good controller players. Uh, try out the I'll DMR or use work. the DMR. It is by far my favorite gun. That's his guns. Uh, they're both heavy hitting, uh, kind of want to play from a distance kind of guns. Uh, so let's go over his I revolver. His revolver might be one of the hardest and since, uh, maybe one of the hardest guns to use and since it's one of the hardest guns to use, it is not considered one of the best guns, but it is lethal. You can two tap people's heads, uh, but a lot of people can't do that in this game. So when you're starting off in first round on like extraction or demolition, I suggest you buy a nice melee you or an incinerary. I personally buy the melee because since his guns uh, don't really have a lot of ammo and there's a lot of people pushing you, you don't really have time to reload. So getting that quick melee out is very useful. Uh, and then also having an incinerary is useful to help yourself create space or to make somebody peek. Um, so if someone's like hiding behind a box, you can incense it and then shoot them as they run away from it. But I personally would use the incinerary more as a defensive tactic because of how little bullets he has. So someone's pushing me or whatever, I get a shot off, I just throw an incense down, try to back up a little bit. Uh, Dallas is really about just creating space. Um, that's how you can put him to work, is just by creating space with him. Uh, because he's a very heavy hitting character. He does so much damage. So just being able to create space uh, really helps, uh, especially since his guns are such low fire rate. A freaking Ronin SMG, the, SL <laughs> the SLC, would just shred you in seconds if you're close range. All right. Um, yeah, for his gadgets, I said probably buy the incinerary. Uh, only time I'd really buy the EMP is if I'm trying to like help my team out or if the other team has like a saint or something, if they're getting red, I just throw that over there, destroys the drone. Uh, in terms of his perks, yeah, I don't really buy padded footsteps. Um, if I am flanking or trying to be sneaky, I just crouch walk and roll, make a little sound. It's kind of just how I move around. I don't really like walking. Um, Berserker, this is a perk you want to buy. This is probably one of the first perks I buy. Um, since you want to create space with them, uh, when you get shot and like being able to sprint and reload uh, to get away from your enemy to like get your ammo back, since he only has six bullets and it goes up to eight bullets, um, being able to get away from your enemy and like reload is super useful. So I always buy that because being able to get away is just very useful. Uh, and then I'll normally save up uh, most of my money to get replenished because. Oh my god, I got the freaking hiccups. Uh, I'll say I have to get replenished because since he doesn't have a lot of bullets, being able to get a kill, since how fast you get a kill, and being at full ammo again, really puts you at an advantage. 
because uh, it basically gives you like infinite ammo. Um, and then another perk I use is Headstrong, and then the last one I'll get is probably Bounce Back. Uh, so yeah, those are kind of the things I buy. Those are what I like using. Helps me fit my playstyle. All right, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you guys want to see me do any other tutorials on any other rogues, put it down in the comments. I will definitely get to it because I want to do a tutorial on every other rogue. If you guys are wondering what this uh, display screen is, <laughs> I started streaming. So if you guys want to see me do any other sick, nasty shit live, definitely go check it out. It is Boomers for 4. I will put it down in the description as well. Anyways, that is all. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Everybody rock with me because I'm up now. Took your girl and I'm score like I made the touchdown. Swerving in that lab, all doors go up, not on the bus now. Used to want a G-Shock, now I'm walking with a bus now.